Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. They are greatly appreciated. If you're interested in subscribing to the channel, you do uh, get the daily forecast a day early over on Patreon.com. So you would go over there and look up Angle Geist and choose a subscription level. Over there, there's special readings that come out every month that are only available over there. Um, and uh, you can get things like charmings and stuff like that depending on the subscription level you choose. Um, it's a great way to support the channel. And um, uh, I really appreciate it, each and every one of you that does that for me. All right, so uh, this is the daily forecast. It is... A broad spectrum reading intended for anybody who may see the video at any point in time. So it is originally created for the date of Wednesday, the 13th of January, but it's not only set for that date. It is, um, my belief is, is that because it's for the highest good of the greater collective, when you see it is when you're supposed to see it. So if you're seeing this on a date that's not the 13th of January, don't worry. There might still be some information in here that you can utilize. So continue to watch the video and see, you know, if it fits. Um, because it is a broad spectrum reading, I usually use sort of, you know, uh, more broader terms so that it can um, agree with more people, ideally. Um, so you basically have to figure out where it fits in your life and how it fits in your life. Um, from there, if you choose to make any decisions in your personal life after having watched any of my videos, know that those decisions are solely your responsibility. Um, never take anything that I say over that of a professional in their field, like a doctor, a lawyer, or a therapist. Always listen to them first and foremost, and listen to your own intelligence and intuition, uh, too, uh, first and foremost, prior to making any decision in your life, okay? Um, if none of this makes sense, or it doesn't seem to fit in whatever you're dealing with, or you're not really quite sure, um, it just, just doesn't seem to connect, that's completely fine. It may mean that you're working on something totally different. And that's fine. Uh, you might just be doing something different than the rest of uh, the, the majority of people that are going to come across this video over time. So let's get into this and see what the cards want us to know. Oh, wow. So we've got that lover's energy again. Hello, lovers. Um, so what do I want to say about this? Because I kind of feel like we're now at the Wednesday. So we should be in that midweek, which was that Queen of Pentacles, which she is very much sort of that divine feminine involved in sort of, she could represent the divine feminine aspect of the love that we see in this lover's card. I do feel like because we saw this card in the early part of the week, it's kind of a reminder, or not even kind of a reminder, it's very much a reminder to stay in this state of love. Yesterday's grounding stone was also the word love. So I think that now is an opportunity to be sort of setting the tone for everything that we do for maybe the rest of the year even. If we're looking at things through eyes of optimism, gratitude, love, appreciation, it's only going to better and strengthen our experience, right? Um, finding peace of mind wherever we can, finding harmony wherever we can in situations, that's only going to serve us. It's only going to work in our favor. I also love that this um, angel presides over this couple, right? This Adam and Eve that we have here. And so to me, it speaks to the idea that spirit, and that can be not only our own guides or our own angels, but it can also be our own higher self, will hopefully be at work in the background, working on our feelings, our emotions, our thoughts, our you know uh, behaviors as we move through this day. Allow it to be based in this place of love, in this place of bliss, in this idea of what's good in the world versus what's bad. Yes, there are like negative experiences. Yes, there are setbacks, but are they really ultimately as powerful as we give them credit for? They're only as powerful as we give focus to them, right? So the lover's card to me, because it's major arcana, speaks to this being a very significant day in the, in the, in the sense that we get to choose how we perceive things. We get to choose how we look at things. Uh, do we get all bent out of shape over something that's not going our way? Or do we find a way around that or find a way to work within it so that we can find appreciation for it and move through it? Maybe understanding something from somebody else's perspective. 
you know, and seeing them in a different light can open up a relationship or deepen a relationship in a way where we can find appreciation for them and move through that uh, quite a bit quicker. Does that make sense? So I really love that this is here. Um, I also feel like it is sort of telling me that that lover's energy that we saw at the beginning of the week has not left us. It's still kind of with us. Even though we have that Queen of Pentacles as the underpinning now, she's sort of taken the, the um, background seat in a sense to where I feel like this is about physical manifestation, the nurturing of that, the emotions of that. That's what the Queen of Pentacles would represent to me, the generosity, the kindness that she represents, the fertility, the ideas, all of those things need to be brewing in the background for us. And as they're brewing, we need to be looking at them with optimism, hope, excitement. That would be the energy of this lover's card, right? Uh, for some of you, this could be, you know, a romance thing that's happening. Maybe uh, feelings of love are coming back to you. Uh, attractions might be taking place. You could be feeling drawn towards somebody from either that is in your now or from somebody in your past where you're reflecting fondly upon them and missing them. That could be some of this for some of you too. But staying in the positivity of that is really the message that I feel this card is about. Don't go into the struggle and the longing and the sadness. Stay in the idea of holding them or exalting them to a place of love versus a place of, you know, upset, sadness, and worry. All right? Let's see what the clarifiers are. And also, I just want to say this too. Anything that we're doing today with this card sort of hanging in the balance, I would say do it with a sense of um, positivity. You know, like find the hope, find the excitement, find the abundance in whatever it is that we do today. Um, even if we're dealing in the mundane, you know, try and find a certain amount of joy or uh, exuberance, some, you know, enthusiasm for the things that you're doing. Uh, it, take every accomplishment, even if it's like, you know, sometimes I feel so accomplished when I just like get a load of laundry done. <laughs> but I think that that damn load of laundry can be a powerful load of laundry, you know? Like, if I feel like, okay, cool, that's another thing off my list, and I approach it in that way, I open up that door for that feeling of appreciation, love, gratitude, and I get a little bit more accomplished throughout my day, or I t I, I'm able to, like, knock a few more things off of my list. So it can be just that simple for some of you, but I feel like that simplicity also has a larger impact, this being the major arcana card of the lovers, right? So... Don't take anything for granted today is kind of what I'm saying. Let's look what we have here. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Ace of Swords would coincide with the lovers in the way that the lovers is Gemini, which is air energy. It represents the sign of Gemini, you know, the twins coming together. The Ace of Swords would be about clarity. For some of you, if this is a more romantic reading for you or you're, you're reflecting upon somebody that you miss, that you like, that you have attraction to, this could be about the clarity of the realization of that for you. Uh, this could be about sort of maybe making clear decisions about how to go about approaching this situation or creating this situation or bringing yourself closer to this situation. For others of you, this clarity could represent in just that opportunity to be positive about what it is that you're doing and how, that you're, how you're approaching it. Uh, keeping that essence of what the lovers represent, that appreciation, and util utilizing that appreciation to make you successful. Remember, with that stone this week is success, right? So we want to stay focused on that success, whatever that success may be for each and every one of you. you know, like I've said in other readings, some of you, it might be a romantic relationship. For others, it might be, you know, just a new job or, or getting honored at work, getting noticed for the hard work that you put in. Whatever that success is, to me, today feels like a really good day to really um, channel that or connect to that, make clear decisions around that, even get honored. Uh, that Ace of Swords could be that crown with the victory wreath around the top of the sword speaks to this idea that we may actually get noticed today, uh, honored in some way from an outside source. Uh, for our clear thinking, for our um, ability to make quick, uh, intelligent decisions. Aces also represent new opportunities. So if some of you are seeing new opportunities around a situation that you desire or that you want or that you're, you know, enamored with, go for it is kind of the feeling that I get. Let's see what the next um, card is. Okay, we have the Chariot. Chariot is Cancerian energy. Chariot's also celebratory, very much so, you know, and um, it's also major arcana. So this is rather significant too. Chariot is about moving forward towards something better, 
uh, sometimes getting out of our own way, uh, letting ourselves to be, be carried if we need to be, but moving forward in a way that's kind of determined, especially with this Ace of Swords energy. To me, it feels like making that clear decision, it might be something that we've been tinkering about or thinking about and not really sure how to go about getting it. Today may be the day that we actually make the clear decision or the decisive, you know, um, choice to this is it I'm going for it I don't give a shit <laughs> excuse my language but this is sort of where it feels like okay I want that love I want that that feeling in my life I want more of that it's almost like the the vibe that I'm getting or what I'm hearing in my voice is life is too short to mess around and waste time and so you know, if there's something you desire, if there's something that makes you feel good, if there's something that inspires you, today might be the day to actually take action and move towards it, right? Cancer is water sign, obviously, and it's also very much about nurturing, which would tie into that queen of pentacles in the sense that I feel like she's very nurturing in that earth mother energy. Um, this might be, our emotions might be pushing us forward today. Uh, the only downside with the chariot is sometimes it can move so quickly we feel a little bit out of control or we get nervous because it can get a little bit emotional, but ultimately it's always leading us to something better, something where we'll be honored, something that where we'll be feel more seen and hopefully appreciated. So let's look at, oh, and we had this yesterday. This is that Eight of Pentacles, all right? So Eight of Pentacles says, still pay attention to the small details of what it is you're doing, the steps that you're taking, the actual like sort of stamp that you put on the work that you do, right? Um, I really want to say that these cards speak to this idea of be conscious about what it is you do, how it is you do it, be clear about what it is you want, be clear about what it is you, you like are going after, and make those efforts to get there. If you start to move towards them, instead of getting like freaked out about how do I get there or how do I make this happen, just do the next right thing in front of you. That would be the Eight of Pentacles energy. Just concentrate on the small steps of getting yourselves towards that, right? To me, the Eight of Pentacles grounds you a little bit and it brings you to this state of, okay, if I just do these three things today, you know, and I'm just saying three as a number, but if I just do these three things and I do them as a, to the best of my ability, that's three more steps closer to what it is that I want. And I feel like that's going to be powerful, right? But there has to be sort of a, like a optimism that we see in the ace. There's also an optimism in the lovers. And then there's an, uh, an ability to sort of take action, to love ourselves first and foremost, to move forward in that action, even if we don't necessarily know exactly how we're gonna get there, we have to trust some of the process, that's the chariot. And then the eight is, the eight of pentacles is about doing what we can in the very particular way that we can to the best of our ability and being appreciative of that, right? Seeing our work for as it really is without any judgment, without any sort of um, second guessing and just being very much present and in the moment and doing what's required of us. Now let's look to the grounding stone and see what the grounding stone has to say. Okay. And the grounding stone, for some of you, this could be about love. The grounding stone is on Snowflake Obsidian and it's passion. So to me, uh, I like Snowflake Obsidian because it's kind of this balance of light and dark. It's also Obsidian naturally wards off negativity. I'm not exactly sure the properties of Snowflake Obsidian, but what I love about it is, is there's black and white in there. There's sort of both sides, yin and yang, masculine, feminine. There's a balance there. I love that this is passion in the sense that when we see this lover's card, we see the stone of love yesterday, we see the stone of success throughout this week. What are we passionate about? What is it that we truly desire? Are we denying ourselves those desires or have we been thus far? You know, maybe the year 2020 has set us back and it's been harder than we expected, but you know, if we allow it to continue to sort of hold us back or, um, 
keep us from moving forward towards what it is that we want or what it is that excites us, what it is that inspires us, then we're, you know, giving it more power than it deserves is sort of what I feel like these cards are saying to me. Grounding in that passion today, that desire, that, you know, that love that we see in the lovers, the clarity and the strength of the Ace of Swords, the direction of the chariot, and then the productivity of the Eight of Pentacles speaks to the fact that major strides can be made today right if we're brave enough to take them if we're brave enough to pay attention to our passions and to move towards those passions um in this state of love right in this state of appreciation and no too i will say this that angel up there says we are guided right whether it's by our own higher self or by spirit we are guided we will be looked out for we will be taken care of if we you know there's if, if we're fearing we're making the wrong decision or we're fearing of failing or whatever we're not it's to me i don't get the feeling that that's going to happen if the failure takes place or if something steers you into a different course or a different um, unexpected way along the way towards this journey it's going to be okay because you're going to get where you need to be ultimately is sort of the feeling that i'm getting from looking at these cards I hope that makes sense. Don't deny your passions. Follow your bliss. This is your reading for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.